do you want to run your own AI model but your machine does not have enough power? Say no more. In this video I will demonstrate how to do that without any cost and blazingly fast. We make use of Google Colab. Colab is a Python platform by Google on which you can try powerful GPU machines and that is perfect for AI applications. We just need a couple of things. First, a Google account, the software olama.ai installed on your machine. And by the way, I made a whole video about Olama AI and how to run it on your own local machine. I make sure to link that in the corner. And a Jupyter Notebook, which we run on Google Colab to install everything we need. But don't worry, you can take mine from my GitHub. I put a link in the description below. So let's go. Head over to colab.google and press new notebook. Make sure you are logged into your Google account, otherwise just log in now. And now we have a complete blank Jupyter Notebook here. We will need to install now the Olama client on the host machine. And that is done with curling the installation script of Olama and then pipe that into a shell. Let's add another code block. And now we need to install some dependencies for our Python scripting. We will install a package which is called AIO HTTP and by ngrok. Ngrok is a software which allows you to expose local running software to the internet via a secure tunnel. And that is quite nice for this use case. And with installing PyNGrok with pip, it automatically installs the ngrok application on your machine. This is now an important path of the script. We need to set the LD library path as environment variable because with that we are able to use the GPU of the Google Colab server. Next, we will write an async function which is called run process. And what the run process function is doing, it is creating a sub process on the host machine and then collecting the output. And these are just some helping mechanisms to collect the output and print it in the console. And now there's another important part coming. So we make use of the ngrok library. And with ngrok we are able to expose a local port from our Google Colab machine into the internet and then we can use that address on our own local machine and connect to this exact instance on the Google Colab. After we have written the script, it is now important to change the runtime of our machine here. Make sure to click on the top right the little arrow button and change the runtime type because we need to choose the T4 GPU instance type to make sure that we get a nice GPU by Google and then we can start and connect to our instance here and after we are connected we can play our written cells here and first of all we install Olama and I see I forgot the uh, .sh ending of the installation script so now Olama is downloading and installed into the host machine. Now we can run our second cell and um, install some dependencies, the uh, pyngrok and the AIO AIO HTTP package. And after that, we can see that we have successfully started our Olama surf here. And we also successfully exposed our local host port uh, with ngrok to this specific URL. So make sure to copy that URL because we now need that. Head over to your locally installed Olama and uh, we need to export an environment variable for Olama to know where to connect to the server. And for that we need to export the Olama host environment variable with the URL we just copied. And then we can just continue to use it straightforward and we can type Olama run mistral for example, which is a large language model available on Olama. And now we can see at Google Colab that we have a successful connection incoming from my machine here. And we can see it is downloading the language model. And now after a short amount of time, we can interact with our remote GPU baked 
Olama model here. How awesome is that? So the calculation is now happening at the remote machine and not at our local machine. And with that setup, we are able to run even larger models if we have if we don't have capacity on our local machines. And now just a little fun part here, we are now interacting with the remote language model and I ask what my Jupyter notebook is about. So in our request, we can include local files and we are getting the answer from the remote machine. And yeah, as you can see, it is about providing a script using ngrok HTTP server to expose the Olama instance from a remote instance and uh, so on and so forth. As you can see on the output in the Google Colab script here, um, there are requests incoming and um, yeah, the calculation is happening uh, on the remote machine and not our local machine. And now you can use the large language models on a remote machine quite easily without uh, stressing your own machine. After you have finished interacting with your language model, make sure to disconnect from Google Colab and delete the runtime in Google Colab. Um, that saves resources and the environment will thank you and I think also Google will thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video until the end. I hope you enjoyed this new kind of style tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want more of those. Um, and it would make my day if you subscribe to my channel and give that video a thumbs up. Or even if you share it with a friend who could profit of this video. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.